welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to do a little bit of a challenge for y'all right here in my hand we got this cream lure book kit from walmart these are on sale for six dollars and fifty cents and what you get in the bag is pretty pretty cool you have a four inch creature bait you have your ribbon tail worm you have a lizard and you have your 6.5 inch straight tail worm and in this kit they tell you exactly how to fish them when to fish them what color baits to use like if it's sunny outside if it's dark outside so you get two or three of each bait so it's like four eight, 12 baits in here in total and then here at the bottom you get your hooks and you get your weights now this book is pretty pretty cool because uh it comes with everything you need it comes with all the tips you need so if you're a beginner or anything like that it tells you exactly how to fish them when to fish them and stuff like that and it even tells you how to do a cinch knot down here which is a very popular knot for fishermen and it even shows you exactly step by step how to do that which i thought was very very cool and for six dollars and fifty cents you really can't beat the price it is re really good value for everything you get in this bag so this is from cream lures book kit so today what me and Joseph are going to do is we're going to fish with each four of these baits and our goal is, well the challenge is, to catch one bass per bait. So that's four bass in total we got to catch off the creature bait, the ribbon tail, the lizard, and then the straight tail worm. All using exactly what comes in this book. So we're going to show y'all today if it's possible to do this, if you can catch fish with this, and if it's really worth the $6.50. So guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Give this video the big thumbs up. Give a big thumbs up for my buddy Joseph here with this awesome farm pond we've been fishing lately. And guys, I'll catch you. Oh yeah, the wind's gonna be a, a pain in the butt today, definitely. Let's try a couple casts here, just see what it does. Might get lucky, but my first spot's gonna be over here next to this grass, cause 100% there's a fish next to this grass. All right, so here we go, y'all. We got our lizard, we got our weight, and we got our hook all from that cream fishing kit set. And let's see how good it is. First cast, pretty good. see my line right now. Got one. So that was second or third cast. <laughs> Already got him. Okay, okay. Still got our lizard, but that's uh, the first bait down. All right, y'all, there is the first fish of the morning. Caught it on that black lizard right there. He really did a number on it, but it worked so far. That cream fishing kit is proven to be pretty right. Second cast, caught him. I mean, not a monster by any means, but we're out here just to see if the kit works. So first fish down. Cute little guy. All right, little guy, see you later. Woo! All right, Joseph finally got one. Holy crap! Look at that. That is insane. It's like a three pound bluegill. Oh my god, on the lizard. Look at that. That is insane. Oh, he's crapping all over the place. Oh, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Slippery. <laughs> that is a crazy fat blue.
Well, First mission of the day, ain't got a very big mouth. Zoom out my face. <laughs> that is a big bluegill on the lizard. Yeah, he made it. He made it. <laughs> that counts. You fishing this or you want to... Oh, time to switch. 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 <laughs> That's insane. That was a very big blue kill. He caught a, I've never caught a blue kill on a lizard, man. That's a first. That is a first. <laughs> we are uh, we are trying to do this before the storm hits. <laughs> As you can see, it is very dark over there. <laughs> so we might have just maybe 30 minutes to knock out these three other baits. We're cutting it close. Okay, so we're done with the lizard. Lizard's out of the way. Next one up is, I'm gonna do a worm now. I say we do the ribbon tail. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the dark colors since that seems to work. And I see this one back here. That one, purple and black. And it's the darkest color in here. That one? Yeah, that one. Took it like we did the lizard. Do that head. Come up. And then right through the belly. Or just the same side. Joseph both have the same one. I'm going to come down here a little bit on the other side of this grass. This one seems to be a little bit more challenging. Let's just go straight out with it. How about that? Man, there's some over there. See that big old splash? I don't know if y'all can see the ripples, but they're over there. Ooh, crap, almost fell. Yeah, something's, something's making some motion over here. Let's see if I can get some of this action. Got 
bits. Number two on that worm. Saw something blowing up over there, sure enough. Here we go. Not another giant, but still, that will do. That will do on that worm. And that's exactly how you want them right there, right on top of that mouth. Right on top of it so they can't shake it off. All right, there. All right, there y'all have it. Number two on that ribbon tail. Not a giant, but still a really good healthy fish. Really good healthy fish. And he got it right on top of the nose. That's exactly how y'all want to get them, just like a unicorn. Because when they get it on top like that, they cannot shake that off. Because it is not soft like their other skin is. There we go. It's out. Good one. Real good one. There we go. There's a better shot of them so y'all can see him. Really. Like, what the heck was that? Get over there, Joseph. They're blowing up right over there. I don't know if y'all can even see it from that angle, but they are blowing up. All right, see you later, buddy. All right, so next one up for me is gonna be I gotta stick with the, the four-inch creature. Tail. You gotta you gotta catch one on the ribbon tail, yeah. So next one up is the four-inch creature bait. I need a dark color. I'm gonna stick to what the book says. Dark colors, muddy water, murky days. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, if we get on, on a big one, bro, this hook, we're gonna have to be so finesse with those big bass. They will break this freaking hook. Just straighten it out. Stop poking yourself. I'm trying to do what you do and do the little. Alright, there we go. Ready to go. Grass. Wind's really starting to pick up over here. Right there at the bank. There we go. Got him. Man, that one is very pale. There we go. Bass number three on the four inch creature bait. Got him right in the side of the mouth. Number three on the four inch creature bait. Look how silver this one is. He's not green like the other ones. He's almost like a silver color. Really beautiful bass. Really good one. And caught him on that four inch creature bait right there. Bass number three. One more left. For bait number four is the the 6.5 inch straight tail worm, which is gonna be a little tricky because there's not much action that can be done with a straight tail worm. Now, it looks like we have three different choices in here, all green, there's one right there, there's another one right there, and then we got this really, really cool one right here that's like sprayed grass or fresh cut grass, whatever the color's called. Yeah, look at that one. I think that one would do okay. I think that one be okay. I'll put this one on. Oh, 
Always remember to skin hook it, especially if you're fishing around grass or pads or anything like that. That way you don't get hung up. But there we go. There's our last and final bait. Bait number four, the 6.5 inch straight tail worm. <sighs> Gotta tell you what, man, this has been really, really cool. This kit right here, if y'all got these at your Walmart, it's worth a try, definitely. Especially if you're a beginner or you're somebody that just wants to challenge yourself and you're not used to finesse or Texas rigging, definitely, definitely give it a try. Let's get that dude back in the water. But yeah, there's Joseph's third fish on that four inch creature bait. So now our final bait is gonna be the straight tail worm. Last bait, 6.5 inch straight tail worm. Let's make it happen. Wow, that was really far. I didn't mean to cast that far. Uh, really? I at least need to be home by 11. And it's not even 9 yet. So I know you want to put on that rattle trap. <laughs> Joseph moved down. Watch Joseph get on there and catch like a freaking seven pounder. over there let's go knock on on that door see what we can get There we go. Ooh. Poor guy. Oh man, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Ooh. Ooh, right in the eye. Let's uh let's cut that. <laughs> I am so sorry, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Not what you want to happen when you're fishing is you get them right in the eye. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Ugh.
All right, so I'm gonna show y'all him on his good side, but there's that bass right there. Got him in the eye. I feel really bad about that, but that is all four baits down. Got him. <sighs> Poor guy. I feel bad about that. Joseph's on his last bait. Will he be able to complete it in time? We may never know. All right, y'all, we have finally completed the challenge. It took us close to two hours to actually catch four bass, one on each one of each bait that came in here. Uh, we had a lot come off, a lot rip the plastic. So, I mean, they're cream lures. You get what you pay for. They're not exactly the best strongest plastics out there but they are definitely very very fun uh joseph unfortunately was not able to complete the challenge he really struggled with that last bait we had that straight tail worm and it was hard for me too it took me like almost 30 minutes to catch one on that it was ridiculous because it just has no action compared to all other three of these it was the one with the least action but guys i really got to say that this is definitely worth the six dollars and fifty cents you can get it at walmart for it is a great lesson to learn especially with all the tips and tricks that comes in this it is definitely, definitely very worth it. Joseph, what do you think about it? For the day like today, it was good. We did a good job. Uh, I think on a better day, that thing's gonna be badass. Definitely, definitely. If we had more sun today, it definitely would've been a lot better. It would've been a different story. We'd've caught them way quicker. But today, we're pretty much trying to beat the storm. So we wanted to come in here and get it done as quick as possible. As y'all can hear, the wind is blowing like crazy. So we've been fighting the wind all day as well but we still were able to finish it and catch fish today. So it was definitely, in my opinion, worth the $6.50 from Walmart. Again, guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, get a big thumbs up for Joseph here, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.